You may wonder how to pick your ATR crystal material. This is going to depend on a few parameters of the material. For one is going to be the spectral range. If you have material that absorbs in a lower region, you may want to consider which type of crystal material to pick to be able to obtain that lower region. For instance, germanium cuts off its 780 wave numbers, whereas something like diamond zinc selenide cuts off around 550. But if you drop down to something like KRS5, you can get all the way down to 250 wave numbers. If you have important features in that lower region, this is going to be a huge aspect. The next thing to consider is penetration depth. That penetration depth is going to be dependent on the refractive index and the angle of incidence. The refractive index of the material will change how much that light penetrates into the sample. For instance, diamond, which is the most robust ATR material out there, has a penetration depth of about 2 microns. But something like germanium has a penetration depth of only 0.6 microns. This is important when it comes into the fact that your sample may be highly absorbing, like carbon black. If you have something highly absorbing, you want less penetration depth so then you don't cut off at that lower region as it's absorbing the light. The last aspect is going to be your sensitivity, which is going to take into account the number of bounces. The more bounces you have, the more absorption you get, therefore enhancing small features. This could be anywhere from a 1 bounce to a 3 bounce to a 9 bounce ATR or even moving up to an HATR which can have up to 20 or more bounces.